everyone, in today's video I will be talking about the pros and the cons of the semi-trailing arm suspension. Now let's get started. The first pro of the semi-trailing arm suspension is that it is cheaper to manufacture compared to the likes of the double wishbone and multi-link suspension designs. Secondly, since the semi-trailing arm suspension can be designed to be compact, this leads to better cabin space and luggage room. Furthermore, this suspension design is half trailing and half transverse, meaning its trailing arm properties induce understeer while its transverse proportion equals that of the swing axle suspension, wherein it induces oversteer, meaning the two cancel each other out leading to neutral steering attributes. Now for the cons. First would be that during bump and rebound, as the suspension is traveling through its natural motion, it tends to suffer from a lot of dynamic alignment change, which would cause the rear of the car to feel more unstable and unpredictable. The second con would be that, similar to the regular trailing arm setup, there is a lot of unsprung weight by means of the arm itself and the associated wheel hubs. This leads to slowing down of the action speed of the suspension once it transitions into rebound, causing a loss of grip. What I mean by this is that instead of having the tire to contact the road surface as fast as possible to maintain consistent grip levels, the huge amount of unsprung weight would cause the rear tires to not contact as fast as possible in order to maintain consistent grip levels. Lastly, be it pure trailing or semi-trailing arm setup, since it's rigid, sorry about that. Since it's rigidly attached to the hubs, and consequently the wheels, this allows a lot of noise, and vibrations and harshness, to enter the cabin, leading to poor ride quality. Special thanks to Toyokazu Suchiya san for asking a question about the semi-trailing arm suspension setup, leading me to make this video. Moving on. An example of a car that has a semi-trailing arm suspension setup would be the BMW E30 M3. Do feel free to check out my video on how the BM how BMW Motorsport made the semi-trailing arm more competitive in order to reduce the drawbacks of the semi-trailing arm suspension. I will leave a link down in the descriptions below so that you guys can check that video out as well if you like. That concludes our video for today, and if you liked the video, do like, share, and subscribe for more. Have a good one!